This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 1. When had you started to work here? I had worked here before she started to work here. 2. When had I taken care of your children? You had taken care of my children before my mother took care of them. 3. Where had he looked for a job? He had looked for a job there before he moved there. 4. When had she talked to the doctor? She had talked to the doctor before she made the appointment. 5. How much had it rained? It had rained a lot before they started their vacation. 6. When had we practiced English? We had practiced English before we practiced with the other class. 7. Where had they studied English? They had studied English in their country before they moved here. 1. When had you started to work here? I had worked here before she started to work here. 2. When had I taken care of your children? You had taken care of my children before my mother took care of them. 3. Where had he looked for a job? He had looked for a job there before he moved there. 4. When had she talked to the doctor? She had talked to the doctor before she made the appointment. 5. How much had it rained? It had rained a lot before they started their vacation. 6. When had we practiced English? We had practiced English before we practiced with the other class. 7. Where had they studied English? They had studied English in their country before they moved here. 1. When had you started to work here? I had worked here before she started to work here. 2. When had I taken care of your children? You had taken care of my children before my mother took care of them. 3. Where had he looked for a job? He had looked for a job there before he moved there. 4. When had she talked to the doctor? She had talked to the doctor before she made the appointment. 5. How much had it rained? It had rained a lot before they started their vacation. 6. When had we practiced English? We had practiced English before we practiced with the other class. 7. Where had they studied English? They had studied English in their country before they moved here. 1. When had you started to work here? I had worked here before she started to work here. 2. When had I taken care of your children? You had taken care of my children before my mother took care of them. 3. Where had he looked for a job? He had looked for a job there before he moved there. 4. When had she talked to the doctor? She had talked to the doctor before she made the appointment. 5. How much had it rained? It had rained a lot before they started their vacation. 6. When had we practiced English? We had practiced English before we practiced with the other class. 7. Where had they studied English? They had studied English in their country before they moved here. 1. When had you started to work here? I had worked here before she started to work here. 2. When had I taken care of your children? You had taken care of my children before my mother took care of them. 3. Where had he looked for a job? He had looked for a job there before he moved there. 4. When had she talked to the doctor? She had talked to the doctor before she made the appointment. 5. How much had it rained? It had rained a lot before they started their vacation. 6. When had we practiced English? We had practiced English before we practiced with the other class. 7. Where had they studied English? They had studied English in their country before they moved here. 
This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 1. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for 20 years. 2. How long have I been taking care of children? You've been taking care of children since last year. 3. How long has he been looking for a job? He's been looking for a job since June. 4. How long has she been talking on the phone? She's been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. 5. How long has it been raining? It has been raining for 7 hours. 6. How long have we been practicing English? We've been practicing English since 9.30. 7. How long have they been studying English? They've been studying English for 6 months. 1. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for 20 years. 2. How long have I been taking care of children? You've been taking care of children since last year. 3. How long has he been looking for a job? He's been looking for a job since June. 4. How long has she been talking on the phone? She's been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. 5. How long has it been raining? It has been raining for 7 hours. 6. How long have we been practicing English? We've been practicing English since 9.30. 7. How long have they been studying English? They've been studying English for 6 months. One, how long have you been working here? I've been working here for 20 years. Two, how long have I been taking care of children? You've been taking care of children since last year. Three, how long has he been looking for a job? He's been looking for a job since June. Four, how long has she been talking on the phone? She's been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. 5. How long has it been raining? It has been raining for 7 hours. 6. How long have we been practicing English? We've been practicing English since 9.30. 7. How long have they been studying English? They've been studying English for 6 months. 1. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for 20 years. 2. How long have I been taking care of children? You've been taking care of children since last year. 3. How long has he been looking for a job? He's been looking for a job since June. 4. How long has she been talking on the phone? She's been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. 5. How long has it been raining? It has been raining for 7 hours. 6. How long have we been practicing English? We've been practicing English since 9.30. 7. How long have they been studying English? They've been studying English for 6 months. 1. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for 20 years. 2. How long have I been taking care of children? You've been taking care of children since last year. 3. How long has he been looking for a job? He's been looking for a job since June. 4. How long has she been talking on the phone? She's been talking on the phone for 20 minutes. 5. How long has it been raining? It has been raining for 7 hours. 6. How long have we been practicing English? We've been practicing English since 9.30. 7. How long have they been studying English? They've been studying English for 6 months. 
This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 1. Where will you go? 2. Will I buy soda? 3. What will I buy? 4. Will he see a movie? 5. When will he see a movie? 6. Will she call her family? 7. Who will she call? 8. Will it be nice today? 9. How will the weather be? 10. Will we play sports today? 11. Why will we play a board game? 12. Will they drive a taxi? 13. What will they drive? One, where will you go? Two, will I buy soda? Three, what will I buy? Four, will he see a movie? Five, when will he see a movie? Six, will she call her family? Seven, who will she call? Eight, will it be nice today? Nine, how will the weather be? Ten, Will we play sports today? 11. Why will we play a board game? 12. Will they drive a taxi? 13. What will they drive? 1. Where will you go? 2. Will I buy soda? 3. What will I buy? 4. Will he see a movie? 5. When will he see a movie? 6. Will she call her family? 7. Who will she call? 8. Will it be nice today? 9. How will the weather be? 10. Will we play sports today? 11. Why will we play a board game? 12. Will they drive a taxi? 13. What will they drive? 1. Where will you go? 2. Will I buy soda? 3. What will I buy? 4. Will he see a movie? 5. When will he see a movie? 6. Will she call her family? 7. Who will she call? 8. Will it be nice today? 9. How will the weather be? 10. Will we play sports today? 11. Why will we play a board game? 12. Will they drive a taxi? 13. What will they drive? 1. Where will you go? 2. Will I buy soda? 3. What will I buy? 4. Will he see a movie? 5. When will he see a movie? 6. Will she call her family? 7. Who will she call? 8. Will it be nice today? 9. How will the weather be? 10. Will we play sports today? 11. Why will we play a board game? 12. Will they drive a taxi? 13. What will they drive? 1. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Go, went, gone, going. Present. I go shopping every Friday. He goes dancing every Saturday. Past. We went swimming. They went camping. Future. He'll go fishing. They'll go jogging. Present continuous. He's going sailing. We're going bowling. Present perfect. I've gone sightseeing in Hawaii twice. She has gone running at the lake for one year. Go, went, gone, going. 
Present. I go shopping every Friday. He goes dancing every Saturday. Past. We went swimming. They went camping. Future. He'll go fishing. They'll go jogging. Present continuous. He's going sailing. We're going bowling. Present perfect. I've gone sightseeing in Hawaii twice. She has gone running at the lake for one year. Go, went, gone and going. Present. I go shopping every Friday. He goes dancing every Saturday. Past. We went swimming. They went camping. Future. He'll go fishing. They'll go jogging. Present continuous. He's going sailing. We're going bowling. Present perfect. I've gone sightseeing in Hawaii twice. She has gone running at the lake for one year. Go, went, gone and going. Present. I go shopping every Friday. He goes dancing every Saturday. Past. We went swimming. They went camping. Future. He'll go fishing. They'll go jogging. Present continuous. He's going sailing. We're going bowling. Present perfect. I've gone sightseeing in Hawaii twice. She has gone running at the lake for one year. Go, went, gone and going. Present. I go shopping every Friday. He goes dancing every Saturday. Past. We went swimming. They went camping. Future. He'll go fishing. They'll go jogging. Present continuous. He's going sailing. We're going bowling. Present perfect. I've gone sightseeing in Hawaii twice. She has gone running at the lake for one year. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Present. Does she eat breakfast? She eats breakfast every day. Past. Did she eat breakfast this morning? She ate breakfast this morning. Present continuous. What's she doing now? She's eating breakfast. Past continuous. What was she doing at 7 a.m.? She was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. Present perfect. How often has she eaten breakfast? When has she started eating breakfast? She has eaten breakfast since she was a baby. Present perfect continuous. How long has she been eating breakfast? She has been eating breakfast for 10 minutes. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Present. Does she eat breakfast? She eats breakfast every day. Past. Did she eat breakfast this morning? She ate breakfast this morning. Present continuous. What's she doing now? She's eating breakfast. Past continuous. What was she doing at 7 a.m.? She was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. Present perfect. 
How often has she eaten breakfast? When has she started eating breakfast? She has eaten breakfast since she was a baby. Present perfect continuous. How long has she been eating breakfast? She has been eating breakfast for 10 minutes. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Present. Does she eat breakfast? She eats breakfast every day. Past. Did she eat breakfast this morning? She ate breakfast this morning. Present continuous. What's she doing now? She's eating breakfast. Past continuous. What was she doing at 7 a.m.? She was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. Present perfect. How often has she eaten breakfast? When has she started eating breakfast? She has eaten breakfast since she was a baby. Present perfect continuous. How long has she been eating breakfast? She has been eating breakfast for 10 minutes. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Present. Does she eat breakfast? She eats breakfast every day. Past. Did she eat breakfast this morning? She ate breakfast this morning. Present continuous. What's she doing now? She's eating breakfast. Past continuous. What was she doing at 7 a.m.? She was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. Present perfect. How often has she eaten breakfast? When has she started eating breakfast? She has eaten breakfast since she was a baby. Present perfect continuous. How long has she been eating breakfast? She has been eating breakfast for 10 minutes. Eat, ate, eaten, eating. Present. Does she eat breakfast? She eats breakfast every day. Past. Did she eat breakfast this morning? She ate breakfast this morning. Present continuous. What's she doing now? She's eating breakfast. Past continuous. What was she doing at 7 a.m.? She was eating breakfast at 7 a.m. Present perfect. How often has she eaten breakfast? When has she started eating breakfast? She has eaten breakfast since she was a baby. Present perfect continuous. How long has she been eating breakfast? She has been eating breakfast for 10 minutes. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 1. Are you driving to the store? No, I'm not. 2. Am I eating breakfast at the restaurant? Yes, you are. 3. Is he going to the movies? Yes, he is. 4. Is she going dancing? No, she's not. 5. Is it watching the birds? Yes, it is. 6. Are we taking a test today? Yes, you are. 7. Are they flying home? No, they aren't. 1. Are you driving to the store? No, I'm not. 2. Am I eating breakfast at the restaurant? Yes, you are. 3. Is he going to the movies? Yes, he is. 4. Is she going dancing? No, she's not. 5. Is it watching the birds? Yes, it is. 6. Are we taking a test today? 
Yes, you are. 7. Are they flying home? No, they aren't. 1. Are you driving to the store? No, I'm not. 2. Am I eating breakfast at the restaurant? Yes, you are. 3. Is he going to the movies? Yes, he is. 4. Is she going dancing? No, she's not. 5. Is it watching the birds? Yes, it is. 6. Are we taking a test today? Yes, you are. 7. Are they flying home? No, they aren't. 1. Are you driving to the store? No, I'm not. 2. Am I eating breakfast at the restaurant? Yes, you are. 3. Is he going to the movies? Yes, he is. 4. Is she going dancing? No, she's not. 5. Is it watching the birds? Yes, it is. 6. Are we taking a test today? Yes, you are. 7. Are they flying home? No, they aren't. 1. Are you driving to the store? No, I'm not. 2. Am I eating breakfast at the restaurant? Yes, you are. 3. Is he going to the movies? Yes, he is. 4. Is she going dancing? No, she's not. 5. Is it watching the birds? Yes, it is. 6. Are we taking a test today? Yes, you are. 7. Are they flying home? No, they aren't. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Shrink, shrank, shrunk, shrinking. Present. My blouse shrinks in hot water when I wash it. The blouse always shrinks when I wash it. Past. My skirt shrank in hot water when I washed it. The blouse shrank at an event in the past. Present continuous. I'm shrinking this big shirt in hot water now. The blouse is in the act of shrinking in the hot water. We are talking about a motion or an action. Past continuous. I was shrinking the big shirts a little while ago. At some time in the past, the blouse was shrinking. We are talking about a motion or an action. Present perfect. I've already shrunk the large shirts today. In the past, I started to shrink the shirts and it took some time until now to shrink, but I may continue to shrink the shirts again. Present perfect continuous. I've been shrinking the large shirts all morning. In the past, I started shrinking the shirts, and they haven't finished shrinking yet. We are talking about a motion or action. Shrink, shrank, shrunk, shrinking. Present. My blouse shrinks in hot water when I wash it. The blouse always shrinks when I wash it. Past. My skirt shrank in hot water when I washed it. The blouse shrank at an event in the past. Present continuous. I'm shrinking this big shirt in hot water now. The blouse is in the act of shrinking in the hot water. We are talking about a motion or an action. Past continuous. I was shrinking the big shirts a little while ago. At some time in the past, the blouse was shrinking. 
We are talking about a motion or an action. Present perfect. I've already shrunk the large shirts today. In the past, I started to shrink the shirts and it took some time until now to shrink, but I may continue to shrink the shirts again. Present perfect continuous. I've been shrinking the large shirts all morning. In the past, I started shrinking the shirts, and they haven't finished shrinking yet. We are talking about emotion or action. Shrink, shrank, shrunk, shrinking. Present. My blouse shrinks in hot water when I wash it. The blouse always shrinks when I wash it. Past. My skirt shrank in hot water when I washed it. The blouse shrank at an event in the past. Present continuous. I'm shrinking this big shirt in hot water now. The blouse is in the act of shrinking in the hot water. We are talking about a motion or an action. Past continuous. I was shrinking the big shirts a little while ago. At some time in the past, the blouse was shrinking. We are talking about a motion or an action. Present perfect. I've already shrunk the large shirts today. In the past, I started to shrink the shirts and it took some time until now to shrink, but I may continue to shrink the shirts again. Present perfect continuous. I've been shrinking the large shirts all morning. In the past, I started shrinking the shirts, and they haven't finished shrinking yet. We are talking about emotion or action. Shrink, shrank, shrunk, shrinking. Present. My blouse shrinks in hot water when I wash it. The blouse always shrinks when I wash it. Past. My skirt shrank in hot water when I washed it. The blouse shrank at an event in the past. Present continuous. I'm shrinking this big shirt in hot water now. The blouse is in the act of shrinking in the hot water. We are talking about a motion or an action. Past continuous. I was shrinking the big shirts a little while ago. At some time in the past, the blouse was shrinking. We are talking about a motion or an action. Present perfect. I've already shrunk the large shirts today. In the past, I started to shrink the shirts and it took some time until now to shrink, but I may continue to shrink the shirts again. Present perfect continuous. I've been shrinking the large shirts all morning. In the past, I started shrinking the shirts, and they haven't finished shrinking yet. We are talking about emotion or action. Shrink, shrank, shrunk, shrinking. Present. My blouse shrinks in hot water when I wash it. The blouse always shrinks when I wash it. Past. My skirt shrank in hot water when I washed it. The blouse shrank at an event in the past. Present continuous. I'm shrinking this big shirt in hot water now. The blouse is in the act of shrinking in the hot water. We are talking about a motion or an action. Past continuous. I was shrinking the big shirts a little while ago. At some time in the past, the blouse was shrinking. We are talking about a motion or an action. Present perfect. I've already shrunk the large shirts today. In the past, I started to shrink the shirts and it took some time until now to shrink, but I may continue to shrink the shirts again. Present perfect continuous. I've been shrinking the large shirts all morning. In the past, I started shrinking the shirts, and they haven't finished shrinking yet. We are talking about emotion or action. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 1. I had already finished my homework when you called. 2. 
Have you ever visited New Zealand? 3. Daniel wasn't hungry because he had eaten an hour ago. 4. Amanda doesn't play the piano well, but she sings beautifully. 5. I could go to the beach or to the park. 6. Swimming is my favorite sport. 7. Andrea loves cooking. She's also a big fan of baking. 1. I had already finished my homework when you called. 2. Have you ever visited New Zealand? 3. Daniel wasn't hungry because he had eaten an hour ago. 4. Amanda doesn't play the piano well, but she sings beautifully. 5. I could go to the beach or to the park. 6. Swimming is my favorite sport. 7. Andrea loves cooking. She's also a big fan of baking. 1. I had already finished my homework when you called. 2. Have you ever visited New Zealand? 3. Daniel wasn't hungry because he had eaten an hour ago. 4. Amanda doesn't play the piano well, but she sings beautifully. 5. I could go to the beach or to the park. 6. Swimming is my favorite sport. 7. Andrea loves cooking. She's also a big fan of baking. 1. I had already finished my homework when you called. 2. Have you ever visited New Zealand? 3. Daniel wasn't hungry because he had eaten an hour ago. 4. Amanda doesn't play the piano well, but she sings beautifully. 5. I could go to the beach or to the park. 6. Swimming is my favorite sport. 7. Andrea loves cooking. She's also a big fan of baking. 1. I had already finished my homework when you called. 2. Have you ever visited New Zealand? 3. Daniel wasn't hungry because he had eaten an hour ago. 4. Amanda doesn't play the piano well, but she sings beautifully. 5. I could go to the beach or to the park. 6. Swimming is my favorite sport. 7. Andrea loves cooking. She's also a big fan of baking. Three common personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. Outgoing people love meeting people and helping them. They are good talkers. They are friendly, and they get along well with other people. They often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games such as chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. Your personality and your job one. What's the perfect job for you? It depends a lot on your personality. People think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Three common personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. Outgoing people love meeting people and helping them. They are good talkers. They are friendly and they get along well with other people. They often become nurses, counselors, teachers, 
or social workers. Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games such as chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. Your personality and your job one. What's the perfect job for you? It depends a lot on your personality. People think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Three common personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. Outgoing people love meeting people and helping them. They are good talkers. They are friendly, and they get along well with other people. They often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games such as chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. Your personality and your job one. What's the perfect job for you? It depends a lot on your personality. People think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Three common personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. Outgoing people love meeting people and helping them. They are good talkers. They are friendly, and they get along well with other people. They often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games such as chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. Your personality and your job one. What's the perfect job for you? It depends a lot on your personality. People think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Three common personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. Outgoing people love meeting people and helping them. They are good talkers. They are friendly, and they get along well with other people. They often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games such as chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Your personality and your job too. Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists, such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Before you choose a career, think about your personality type. If you want to be happy in your work, choose the right job for your personality. Your personality and your job too. Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists, such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Before you choose a career, think about your personality type. If you want to be happy in your work, Choose the right job for your personality.
your personality, and your job too. Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists, such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Before you choose a career, think about your personality type. If you want to be happy in your work, choose the right job for your personality. Your personality and your job too. Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists, such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Before you choose a career, think about your personality type. If you want to be happy in your work, choose the right job for your personality. Your personality and your job too. Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists, such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Before you choose a career, think about your personality type. If you want to be happy in your work, choose the right job for your personality. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Your personality and your job 3. 1. According to the article, why is it important to know your personality type? Knowing your personality type may help you choose the right job for your personality. 2. What three personality types does this article discuss? The three personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. 3. What do intellectual people like doing? What jobs are good for them? Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games like chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They may become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. 4. What do creative people enjoy doing? What jobs are good for them? Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Your Personality and Your Job 3 1. According to the article, why is it important to know your personality type? Knowing your personality type may help you choose the right job for your personality. 2. What three personality types does this article discuss? The three personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. 3. What do intellectual people like doing? What jobs are good for them? Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games like chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They may become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. 4. What do creative people enjoy doing? What jobs are good for them? Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists such as painters, dancers, or musicians. 
architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Your personality and your job 3. 1. According to the article, why is it important to know your personality type? Knowing your personality type may help you choose the right job for your personality. 2. What three personality types does this article discuss? The three personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. 3. What do intellectual people like doing? What jobs are good for them? Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games like chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They may become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. 4. What do creative people enjoy doing? What jobs are good for them? Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Your personality and your job 3. 1. According to the article, why is it important to know your personality type? Knowing your personality type may help you choose the right job for your personality. 2. What three personality types does this article discuss? The three personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. 3. What do intellectual people like doing? What jobs are good for them? Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games like chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They may become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. 4. What do creative people enjoy doing? What jobs are good for them? Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. Your personality and your job 3. 1. According to the article, why is it important to know your personality type? Knowing your personality type may help you choose the right job for your personality. 2. What three personality types does this article discuss? The three personality types are outgoing, intellectual, and creative. 3. What do intellectual people like doing? What jobs are good for them? Intellectual people like thinking about problems and finding answers to hard questions. They often enjoy reading and playing games like chess. Many intellectual people like working alone more than working in a group. They may become scientists, computer programmers, or writers. 4. What do creative people enjoy doing? What jobs are good for them? Creative people enjoy making things. They like to imagine things that are new and different. Many of them become artists such as painters, dancers, or musicians. Architects, designers, and photographers are other examples of creative jobs. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Your personality and your job for. 5. According to the article, would an outgoing person enjoy being a scientist? Why or why not? According to the article, outgoing people often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. But outgoing people enjoy meeting others and helping them, so some outgoing people may enjoy being a scientist. 6. Does the author believe that one personality type is better than others? 
Cite evidence from the article to support your answer. No, the author does not believe that one personality type is better than others. According to the author, people think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Your personality and your job for 5. According to the article, would an outgoing person enjoy being a scientist? Why or why not? According to the article, outgoing people often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. But outgoing people enjoy meeting others and helping them, so some outgoing people may enjoy being a scientist. 6. Does the author believe that one personality type is better than others? Cite evidence from the article to support your answer. No, the author does not believe that one personality type is better than others. According to the author, people think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Your personality and your job for 5. According to the article, would an outgoing person enjoy being a scientist? Why or why not? According to the article, outgoing people often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. But outgoing people enjoy meeting others and helping them, so some outgoing people may enjoy being a scientist. 6. Does the author believe that one personality type is better than others? Cite evidence from the article to support your answer. No, the author does not believe that one personality type is better than others. According to the author, people think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Your personality and your job for 5. According to the article, would an outgoing person enjoy being a scientist? Why or why not? According to the article, outgoing people often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. But outgoing people enjoy meeting others and helping them, so some outgoing people may enjoy being a scientist. 6. Does the author believe that one personality type is better than others? Cite evidence from the article to support your answer. No, the author does not believe that one personality type is better than others. According to the author, people think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. Your personality and your job 4. 5. According to the article, would an outgoing person enjoy being a scientist? Why or why not? According to the article, outgoing people often become nurses, counselors, teachers, or social workers. But outgoing people enjoy meeting others and helping them, so some outgoing people may enjoy being a scientist. 6. Does the author believe that one personality type is better than others? Cite evidence from the article to support your answer. No, the author does not believe that one personality type is better than others. According to the author, people think, act, and feel in different ways, and there are interesting jobs for every kind of person. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. My coworker, Jane. My coworker's name is Jane. She works as a bookkeeper. Two adjectives describe her. She is careful and reliable. The bookkeeping job is a good job for her. She pays bills for the company. First, she is careful when she writes checks. She makes sure the amount on the check is the same that is on the bill. Second, she is reliable. She pays the bills before they are due.
She does a good job because her personality fits her job. My coworker, Jane. My coworker's name is Jane. She works as a bookkeeper. Two adjectives describe her. She is careful and reliable. The bookkeeping job is a good job for her. She pays bills for the company. First, she is careful when she writes checks. She makes sure the amount on the check is the same that is on the bill. Second, she is reliable. She pays the bills before they are due. She does a good job because her personality fits her job. My coworker, Jane. My coworker's name is Jane. She works as a bookkeeper. Two adjectives describe her. She is careful and reliable. The bookkeeping job is a good job for her. She pays bills for the company. First, she is careful when she writes checks. She makes sure the amount on the check is the same that is on the bill. Second, she is reliable. She pays the bills before they are due. She does a good job because her personality fits her job. My coworker, Jane. My coworker's name is Jane. She works as a bookkeeper. Two adjectives describe her. She is careful and reliable. The bookkeeping job is a good job for her. She pays bills for the company. First, she is careful when she writes checks. She makes sure the amount on the check is the same that is on the bill. Second, she is reliable. She pays the bills before they are due. She does a good job because her personality fits her job. My coworker, Jane. My coworker's name is Jane. She works as a bookkeeper. Two adjectives describe her. She is careful and reliable. The bookkeeping job is a good job for her. She pays bills for the company. First, she is careful when she writes checks. She makes sure the amount on the check is the same that is on the bill. Second, she is reliable. She pays the bills before they are due. She does a good job because her personality fits her job. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. My classmate, Jim. My classmate's name is Jim. He is an auto mechanic. This is a good job for him. He is dexterous and can work with his hands. He can use tools to fix cars. He is also a problem solver and fix problems. He enjoys his job because his personality fits his job. My classmate, Jim. My classmate's name is Jim. He is an auto mechanic. This is a good job for him. He is dexterous and can work with his hands. He can use tools to fix cars. He is also a problem solver and fix problems. He enjoys his job because his personality fits his job. My classmate, Jim. My classmate's name is Jim. He is an auto mechanic. This is a good job for him. He is dexterous and can work with his hands. He can use tools to fix cars. He is also a problem solver and fix problems. He enjoys his job because his personality fits his job. My classmate, Jim. My classmate's name is Jim. He is an auto mechanic. This is a good job for him. He is dexterous and can work with his hands. He can use tools to fix cars. 
he is also a problem solver and fix problems. He enjoys his job because his personality fits his job. My classmate, Jim. My classmate's name is Jim. He is an auto mechanic. This is a good job for him. He is dexterous and can work with his hands. He can use tools to fix cars. He is also a problem solver and fix problems. He enjoys his job because his personality fits his job. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. My friend, Sally. Sally is my friend. She is creative. She makes different kinds of pastries. She likes to decorate cakes with fun designs. She also makes cupcakes for birthday parties. She is also outgoing because she likes to talk to people. She writes up orders for cakes and shows customers different designs. She enjoys her job because it fits her personality. My friend, Sally. Sally is my friend. She is creative. She makes different kinds of pastries. She likes to decorate cakes with fun designs. She also makes cupcakes for birthday parties. She is also outgoing because she likes to talk to people. She writes up orders for cakes and shows customers different designs. She enjoys her job because it fits her personality. My friend, Sally. Sally is my friend. She is creative. She makes different kinds of pastries. She likes to decorate cakes with fun designs. She also makes cupcakes for birthday parties. She is also outgoing because she likes to talk to people. She writes up orders for cakes and shows customers different designs. She enjoys her job because it fits her personality. My friend, Sally. Sally is my friend. She is creative. She makes different kinds of pastries. She likes to decorate cakes with fun designs. She also makes cupcakes for birthday parties. She is also outgoing because she likes to talk to people. She writes up orders for cakes and shows customers different designs. She enjoys her job because it fits her personality. My friend, Sally. Sally is my friend. She is creative. She makes different kinds of pastries. She likes to decorate cakes with fun designs. She also makes cupcakes for birthday parties. She is also outgoing because she likes to talk to people. She writes up orders for cakes and shows customers different designs. She enjoys her job because it fits her personality. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Choose, chose, chosen, choosing. Present. He chooses to watch the sports games on TV. Past. She chose the black shoes to wear. Present continuous, progressive. They are choosing their food at the buffet. Future, going to. The family is going to choose the hotel for their vacation. Future, will. The family will choose the hotel for their vacation. Present perfect. We have chosen our favorite restaurant this year. Choose, 
chose, chosen, choosing. Present. He chooses to watch the sports games on TV. Past. She chose the black shoes to wear. Present continuous, progressive. They are choosing their food at the buffet. Future, going to. The family is going to choose the hotel for their vacation. Future, will. The family will choose the hotel for their vacation. Present perfect. We have chosen our favorite restaurant this year. Choose, chose, chosen, choosing. Present. He chooses to watch the sports games on TV. Past. She chose the black shoes to wear. Present continuous, progressive. They are choosing their food at the buffet. Future, going to. The family is going to choose the hotel for their vacation. Future, will. The family will choose the hotel for their vacation. Present perfect. We have chosen our favorite restaurant this year. Choose, chose, chosen, choosing. Present. He chooses to watch the sports games on TV. Past. She chose the black shoes to wear. Present continuous, progressive. They are choosing their food at the buffet. Future, going to. The family is going to choose the hotel for their vacation. Future, will. The family will choose the hotel for their vacation. Present perfect. We have chosen our favorite restaurant this year. Choose, chose, chosen, choosing. Present. He chooses to watch the sports games on TV. Past. She chose the black shoes to wear. Present continuous, progressive. They are choosing their food at the buffet. Future, going to. The family is going to choose the hotel for their vacation. Future, will. The family will choose the hotel for their vacation. Present perfect. We have chosen our favorite restaurant this year. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Come, came, come, coming. Present. Jim comes home at 6 p.m. Past. Susan came to the wedding from out of town. Present continuous, progressive. The paramedics are coming down the street. Future, going to. Many people are going to come early to see the parade. Future, will. Many people will come early to see the parade. Present perfect. Mary has come to the high school reunion since the first one. Come. Came, come, coming. Present. Jim comes home at 6 p.m. Past. Susan came to the wedding from out of town. Present continuous, progressive. The paramedics are coming down the street. Future, going to. Many people are going to come early to see the parade. Future. Will. Many people will come early to see the parade. Present perfect. Mary has come to the high school reunion since the first one. Come, came, come, coming. Present. Jim comes home at 6 p.m. Past. Susan came to the wedding from out of town. 
present continuous, progressive. The paramedics are coming down the street. Future, going to. Many people are going to come early to see the parade. Future, will. Many people will come early to see the parade. Present perfect. Mary has come to the high school reunion since the first one. Come, came, come, coming. Present. Jim comes home at 6 p.m. Past. Susan came to the wedding from out of town. Present continuous, progressive. The paramedics are coming down the street. Future, going to. Many people are going to come early to see the parade. Future, will. Many people will come early to see the parade. Present perfect. Mary has come to the high school reunion since the first one. Come, came, come, coming. Present. Jim comes home at 6 p.m. Past. Susan came to the wedding from out of town. Present continuous, progressive. The paramedics are coming down the street. Future, going to. Many people are going to come early to see the parade. Future, will. Many people will come early to see the parade. Present perfect. Mary has come to the high school reunion since the first one. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Cost, 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 costing. Present. Food costs a lot more now. Past. Eating out last night cost more than I thought. Present continuous, progressive. House repairs are costing more than we planned for. Future, going to. That dress is going to cost $200. Future, will. That dress will cost $200. Present perfect. The price of gas has cost more than two years ago. Cost, 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 costing. Present. Food costs a lot more now. Past. Eating out last night cost more than I thought. Present continuous, progressive. House repairs are costing more than we planned for. Future, going to. That dress is going to cost $200. Future, will. That dress will cost $200. Present perfect. The price of gas has cost more than two years ago. Cost, 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 costing. Present. Food costs a lot more now. Past. Eating out last night cost more than I thought. Present continuous, progressive. House repairs are costing more than we planned for. Future, going to. That dress is going to cost $200. Future, will. That dress will cost $200. Present perfect. The price of gas has cost more than two years ago. Cost, 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 costing. Present. Food costs a lot more now. Past. Eating out last night cost more than I thought. Present continuous, progressive. House repairs are costing more than we planned for. Future, going to. That dress is going to cost $200.
future, will. That dress will cost $200. Present perfect. The price of gas has cost more than two years ago. Cost, 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 costing. Present. Food costs a lot more now. Past. Eating out last night cost more than I thought. Present continuous, progressive. House repairs are costing more than we planned for. Future, going to. That dress is going to cost $200. Future, will. That dress will cost $200. Present perfect. The price of gas has cost more than two years ago. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. Cut, 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 cutting. Present. She cuts the sandwich in half. Past. They cut the cat's claws quickly. Present continuous, progressive. The butcher is cutting the meat at the store. Future, going to. The store is going to cut prices for their sale. Future, will. The store will cut prices for their sale. Present perfect. He has cut hair for 25 years. Cut, 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 cutting. Present. She cuts the sandwich in half. Past. They cut the cat's claws quickly. Present continuous, progressive. The butcher is cutting the meat at the store. Future, going to. The store is going to cut prices for their sale. Future, will. The store will cut prices for their sale. Present perfect. He has cut hair for 25 years. Cut, 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 cutting. Present. She cuts the sandwich in half. Past. They cut the cat's claws quickly. Present continuous, progressive. The butcher is cutting the meat at the store. Future, going to. The store is going to cut prices for their sale. Future, will. The store will cut prices for their sale. Present perfect. He has cut hair for 25 years. Cut, 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 cutting. Present. She cuts the sandwich in half. Past. They cut the cat's claws quickly. Present continuous, progressive. The butcher is cutting the meat at the store. Future, going to. The store is going to cut prices for their sale. Future, will. The store will cut prices for their sale. Present perfect. He has cut hair for 25 years. Cut, 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 cutting. Present. She cuts the sandwich in half. Past. They cut the cat's claws quickly. Present continuous, progressive. The butcher is cutting the meat at the store. Future, going to. The store is going to cut prices for their sale. Future, will. The store will cut prices for their sale. Present perfect. He has cut hair for 25 years. This video is recording phrases that we learn in ESL classes. 
do, did, done, doing. Present. She does the laundry every day. Past. The children did their homework before dinner. Present continuous, progressive. He is doing the yard work. Future, going to. He is going to do his taxes early next year. Future, will. He will do his taxes early next year. Present perfect. H&R Block has done taxes for people since 1950. Do, did, done, doing. Present. She does the laundry every day. Past. The children did their homework before dinner. Present continuous, progressive. He is doing the yard work. Future, going to. He is going to do his taxes early next year. Future, will. He will do his taxes early next year. Present perfect. H&R Block has done taxes for people since 1950. Do, did, done, doing. Present. She does the laundry every day. Past. The children did their homework before dinner. Present continuous, progressive. He is doing the yard work. Future, going to. He is going to do his taxes early next year. Future, will. He will do his taxes early next year. Present perfect. H&R Block has done taxes for people since 1950. Do, did, done, doing. Present. She does the laundry every day. Past. The children did their homework before dinner. Present continuous, progressive. He is doing the yard work. Future, going to. He is going to do his taxes early next year. Future, will. He will do his taxes early next year. Present perfect. H&R Block has done taxes for people since 1950. Do, did, done, doing. Present. She does the laundry every day. Past. The children did their homework before dinner. Present continuous, progressive. He is doing the yard work. Future, going to. He is going to do his taxes early next year. Future, will. He will do his taxes early next year. Present perfect. H&R Block has done taxes for people since 1950.